Hello everyone, in this short video we will solve a problem which was asked in gate 2012 for 2 marks. They are saying that they have two relation R1 that is R1 which have attribute A and B and R2 which have attribute C and D. Okay, C is primary key here, A is primary key. They are saying that this B is foreign key and referring to C. Okay. So, and they have mentioned that this relation satisfy all the constraints. Okay, so from the given option, which one is true? So let's start with option A. It is pi of B R one minus pi of C R two equal to phi. What is R one and R two? They have mentioned that this is database instance at a particular time that is this is r1 and this is r2 fine and we have to check whether it is correct or not so we can easily say that this is correct how let's see if this is a this is a table which we are referring from this table let's take an example this is r1 and let's take this is r2 now we have c and d c and d here we have a and b okay here primary key this is primary key now as per relational uh, integrity constraint whatever data we are going to enter here in this b as this is referring this c that must be already present here right so whatever we write, let's say this is A1, B1. So that B1, that B should be here already in this C. Okay. So let's say this is B1, B1. Similarly, whatever we enter, keep on entering like let's say X1, X2, X3. All should be here because we can enter a data in this table only if it is already present. Okay. So it means that at a particular time, this C that is set C set C that is all the C's will be a superset of set B set B right that means this set B will be a subset of a subset of C okay so at any time if we subtract if we subtract sub set B minus set C okay set b minus set c this will be equal to phi because this is superset right and that's what is the question here okay it is saying that phi b minus phi c of r2 is equal to phi so this is project it means all the b's all the b's in r1 minus all the c's in r2 so that will be equal to phi and which is always true so the correct answer here is option a and which was easy to say i guess apart from it if you check all the other options that may be true sometimes depending upon a particular value but not always okay for some database instance that may be correct but that will not be always true and that's why it has been highlighted here that always true okay so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt please go to the doubt section and ask your question thanks for watching